If you want to learn how to make sweet, tasty cinnamon rolls, then keep watching this video. To start, add your warm milk into a bowl with the butter. If you want to warm them together in the same pot, you can do that. Although, make sure that your milk is not too hot or else your yeast may die. So if it is, let it cool for a minute or two. Then, add your 1 4th cup of sugar and mix until combined. Add your yeast to that and mix. Now you can let that sit for 5 or 10 minutes or until the yeast is nice and frothy. This ensures that the yeast will grow while resting and in the oven. Next, you'll want to add your flour into the yeast mixture. Then add your baking powder and salt and begin mixing. Now you want to mix this until well combined before adding your flour again and again. And we do this in parts so that we can ensure that we are using the proper amount. Once you achieve the right consistency, which is when the spoon can no longer mix without making a mess, you can... You're going to want to knead for about 6 to 8 minutes or until your dough has become a semi-smooth ball. After you're done kneading, you can go ahead and cover the bowl with some plastic wrap and a nice tea towel so it can rest for 40 or so minutes or until the dough has doubled in size. As it's resting, we can make the filling, which is quite easy. First off, you'll want to mix your butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon in a bowl until nice and smooth. Alternatively, you could simply lay the ingredients on a dough on the dough separately. I find that the first method works better, but the choice is yours. Then, while you're rolling out your dough, you can leave this covered in the fridge to firm up a little as well. Once your dough is done resting, you can go ahead and take off the plastic wrap and tea towel and lay it on a floured surface like a cutting board. Then begin flattening out the Now you want a semi-thick and semi-thin rectangle of dough so that the cinnamon rolls can be an equal size and will all cook at the same rate. So with either your hands or a rolling pin as you see I use, begin flattening out the dough into a nice rectangle.
Then you can go ahead and start adding the filling to the top. Now you want to make sure of two things before doing this. One, that your filling is cold enough because if it isn't, it may spill out as you see mine will do. And number two, that you don't use too much filling and if you do, you risk the dough spilling out. So make sure your filling is both cold and you have the right amount. Now spread it evenly with a spoon across the flat sheet of dough so that the filling is even throughout all of the cinnamon rolls. Now comes the rolling. When you're rolling, make sure to roll it evenly so that all the cinnamon rolls get the right amount of filling. As you will soon see, my filling spilled out of the log of dough because it was too warm. So make sure it's in the fridge or freezer for a solid few minutes. Next, you want to take a sharp knife and cut out your cinnamon rolls. Now you can choose if you want to make thick cinnamon rolls or skinny ones. The way I cut mine made a total of 8, so if you want more or less, that's up to you. Now place them on a baking tray greased with some butter or oil and place on the side as you finish the others. Next, you want to place them in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 to 40 minutes. And you should be able to tell when they're done because they'll have a wonderful smell afterward. Next, you can make the glaze, which is quite simple. All you need to do is mix together your icing sugar, splash of milk, and a couple drops of vanilla. The vanilla is optional, but I like the taste. Mix that together, and if you need more milk, you can go ahead and add some. You're looking for a smooth, yet not too thick texture. You will see at the end. After that, you can pull them out and you're done. You've successfully made a tasty batch of cinnamon rolls. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you would like to see more, subscribe.